The dark web is an area of the internet that can only be accessed with a special browser. It is flooded with illicit content, the kind that might even get you arrested if you viewed it on Google, where surveillance is a priority. Drugs, illegal weapons, and various scams are just some of the items you might encounter on the dark web. But it is not all like that. There are also forums where users can communicate with each other in a perfectly legal manner. In addition, individuals who can't speak freely in their own countries can hide on the dark web and speak their minds. You must take some precautions before venturing onto the dark web, such as using a virtual private network, using the right browser, knowing which sites to avoid, and much more. In addition, a lot of history has been made on and through the dark web, such as influential sites rising and falling, highly capable people impacting the real world in a serious manner, and information spreading like wildfire that has influenced the world in major ways. With all that to consider, you must know these five critical facts if you plan on exploring this interesting yet disturbing corner of the internet. Disclaimer, this video is intended for entertainment purposes only and is not legal advice. If you have legal questions, consult an attorney. Number 1. It's accessible through a browser known as the Onion Router, aka Tor. The Onion Router, Tor, may be the most popular browser used to explore the dark web. It features a type of encryption function similar to that of a virtual private network, VPN. However, that is far from the only form of security needed to browse the dark web. Some hackers have found ways to work around the encryptions on Tor, so it is safer to use Tor in combination with a VPN. Number 2. Dark web sites use a special domain ending in, onion. In a way, this is the, magic behind the operation of the dark web. Most browsers can only view domains with specific top-level domain suffixes. Examples include .com, .org, and .gov. However, sites with the pseudo top-level domain suffix, onion can only be accessed by specific browsers, such as Tor. As a result, onion sites are much more difficult to track down and report. Number 3. It is not illegal to browse the dark web. One common misconception that scares many people from using the dark web? The idea that they're committing a crime by doing so. This is not true. In reality, no crime is committed unless someone views specifically illegal content on the dark web. It's against the law to even click onto certain sites. But if you go to various dark web marketplaces and look at the content without buying anything, you are probably not committing a crime until you make the purchase. It is also legal to browse or even talk in many forums on the dark web as long as you do not use them to set up illegal business transactions or engage in illegal activities. Number 4. Not all people use the dark web for crimes. When you hear about the dark web, you may think of people using it to sell illegal substances or upload illegal content. Perhaps you even imagine that stereotypical image above, a man wearing a hoodie in a barely lit room who is hiding his face and looking at binary digits on his laptop while typing in a way that resembles hacking. But this is not always the case. Various people on the dark web have used it to evade censorship and make claims that would be illegal to say openly in their countries. Examples include opposing their country's leader and whistleblowing. In addition, people have far more anonymity and privacy on certain forums on the dark web. There, they can have more open discussions about various things than on the open internet, aka the clearnet. Number 5. Silk Road was one of the most popular sites on the dark web. Before it was seized and shut down by the FBI in October 2013 Silk Road was among the largest marketplaces on the dark web. It was founded in February 2011 to host independent online vendors selling various things, typically illegal substances and services. They sold just about any illegal item or service you could think of, with very few restrictions as to what could be sold. After the original site was taken down, it took only a month for a new site to surface. It was called Silk Road 2.0. However, that site has also been shut down. That is it for today. If you want to know more about dark web, please write below in comments. If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and have a good day. I think I'm falling for you.